the single most important thing to think about when you create your branded catalog is your message. What exactly are you hoping to communicate to your customers? Are you running a sale? Promoting seasonal products? Objection busting? Each of these require a different type of template. Now for a sale, you could try a slashed price template or maybe a percentage discount. Both of these will automatically pull the correct price and discount for each product directly from your store. For objection busting, we found reviews templates to be insanely effective, both at the top and at the bottom of the funnel. And again, these are fully automated. They will pull actual customer testimonials for each product from your reviews platform or CSV file. Another very popular type of template is rotating backgrounds. These are especially great for visually undifferentiated products like earphones or spare parts. You can remove the background of your products directly through Socio and replace it with on-brand colors or images. You'll find more ideas about how and when to use each type of template right here. So let's say I'm running a sale. I'm going to go with a slashed price template. Ah, great. Here's one with a strike-through price as well as the discount percentage. Once I've selected my template, I get all the information that I need right here. There are tips to guide me through any additional steps that this design may require, like connecting my reviews platform or mapping any secondary image to my template. Okay, now we decide which products to use in our catalog. I do usually recommend starting with a full shop catalog, but since we are promoting a sale here, I'm going to go with my sale collection. And here is a preview of our newly made branded catalog. If I'm happy with it, I simply hit publish and this catalog will get sent straight to my Meta Business Manager. But what if I want some edits? So there are two main ways in which you may want to edit your branded catalog. If you want to make an edit once, but have it apply to all the products in your catalog, then you need to edit your master template. This is probably the single most important thing that you need to know about the branded catalog. Your master template may have just one variation, in which case all the products in your catalog will use this design. But some branded catalogs include multiple variations like this one here. In this case, your products will rotate through the designs as you can see down here. Now, let's say we edit one variation. The changes I made here will apply only to the products that are using this variation. And my feed will start to look like this. So, to have your changes apply to all your products, do make sure that you edit all the variations of your master template. Now you may also want to just edit an individual product. Maybe the fitting is off or you want to update the product's image. You can make these individual edits by using the edit button below the card. The important thing to remember here is that any edit to your individual products will override an edit to your master template. So if you do want to make individual edits, do make sure that you do these after you have edited your master template, or you're going to end up wondering why the master template edits are not taking hold. Once you're done editing, double check your catalog settings in the left panel and hit publish. Your catalog is now available in your Meta Business Manager, or you can use it to create your ad right through Socio itself.